Hey, welcome back. Uh, so the bike project is back for round three. Um, this time we're doing a twisted type of support rib. Um, so stay tuned and uh, let's get into it. Hello, my name is Josh and I'm an engineer with Forge Product Development. Forge helps clients start and grow their businesses by providing affordable access to effective engineering resources. Monday through Friday, we offer a free engineering helpline live on our social media platforms where we help answer questions from people just like you. The clips that follow were taken from one of those sessions. I hope you find it useful and enjoy. All right, so this is our prompt this time around. He, the uh, same user, Jesse here, is trying to create a bike um, in SolidWorks and going through the different parts and we've been uh, helping him out where we can. Um, so today the issue is around ribs. Now he's done this part already, right? Where he's got this like cross span support in here, right? And the part's gonna be uh, machined out of aluminum, he says. Um, and so we're, we're trying to add the same style of ribs to this part that he supplied. And part of his issue, when we download the part and we open it up and take a look at it, part of his issue is that, as you can see, nothing on this is square. So the corners that he's going into for his rib feature are actually uh, both curved and off angled. And on the other side, they're, they're curved and angled the other direction. So this rib, you can look, there's a surface that he's built up in here, the surface here. We can look as we look down it, we'll see that it's actually twisting and changing curvature and doing all kinds of things. So let's walk through how I would add ribs to this, connecting the corners. So to start out, we're gonna hide his surface and we're gonna make a new one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a boundary surface and we're going to go in and we're going to, you, we're gonna, first off, when you open boundary surface, you might not have this, um, but if you go to right click and do selection manager, it'll allow you to multi-click lines that are tangent to each other and add them as one selection. So we're going to go in, click this corner, click the other corner, and you have to right click each time you complete your selections to send them over here and confirm them. So that's going to create our first surface. And I've already created them, which is why I'm going to cancel out of each feature so that my tree doesn't have to update. Um, but the, the process is the same. Instead of clicking the X, you're just gonna hit the green check mark. So now what we're gonna do, we're going to extend that surface just a little bit so that it's not going through the end walls, but so that that surface is going through uh, the, first phase, the first set of walls. So like we wanted to make sure that it's, this surface is cutting through the bottom planes and the inside bounding walls, just to make sure that when we thicken it in the next step, we have uh, a surface that goes through the first set, but not the second set, not the exterior wall. So then we don't have to trim it all the way back. You could, but it's easier if we don't have to. Um, so to show how we do the surface extend, it's pretty simple. We just add a surface extend feature and we're going to either collect all of the edges of the surface or we can click just on the surface itself and it'll extend it in every direction. And we're gonna extend it one millimeter. Next, we're gonna thicken. And so I've just measured the thickness of the rest of this part and guessed at what thickness you might want. And this is right around two millimeters. So we're gonna uh, thicken exactly two millimeters. Now this is one millimeter, but we're doing per side for the, uh, for the thickness setting. So it'll go both directions. So we can see here that when I measure this, the minimal distance here is exactly two millimeters. Next, we're gonna combine, we're going to add our new, our new rib to the original body. That's just a simple combine, add, select both bodies. You can see that that's a separate body. And that's a separate body because when we did the thicken command, we left this merge result unchecked. Otherwise it would have automatically added it. Uh, which isn't necessarily a bad thing you could do that, but the way that I was doing it, I had multiple ribs and wanted to add them separately. so. Uh, for this, I just use the combined, but you could do it either way. 
So next we did the other a rib exact same way. So we did boundary surface, selecting our corners to create the boundary surface. Extended the surface, thickened. And then this one, we did use that merge. So we have this merge checkbox here, right? So it's gonna add it to the solid bodies that are already existing. Now what Jesse did do is he had created the surface. I'll roll back and show you. He had created this surface here, which basically defines the top of this box. And then he had knitted all it into one. And we're gonna use that surface down below to do a surface cut command. So we have our surface knit one here, which is, can show it, which is just that top box, right? And we're going to use the surface cut and it's gonna cut all solid geometry on this side of the surface. We're gonna delete that surface because we're not using it anymore. So keep our model nice and clean. And then that's pretty much it. Now we have our two ribs in here that are both two millimeters exactly. Um, they go into the corners correctly. They're a little bit twisted. And we can very easily just go in and add our fillets depending on you know what uh, size ball and mill we wanna mill these out with. Now, one thing I will point out is he said that was going to be machined and there's a lot of curvature in this part, all right? So this would be, this is definitely surface machining where you're coming in here and you're doing uh, five axes to get like this curvature in here and stuff like that or custom form tools in some way. But uh, that would be something to keep in mind as we're looking at this part going into a design for manufacturing review that a lot of these walls are drafted and they're drafted in ways that kind of lock each other out. Um, so it would require uh, some complex machining in order to manufacture this part as is, but if it could be changed to make it easier, but that's outside the scope of what he was prompting for. Uh, so yeah, I think that's a pretty good solution for this. Just create the surfaces going to the edges, thicken them, add them to the body, and then trim back. And I think you should be good to go. Good luck. Hope you had a good time. Um, if this is something that is useful to you and you learned something, please leave a like and a comment. Uh, subscribe to help support the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.